I started playing RoboCraft again recently and noticed that one of my favorite designs suddenly had the defense of a wet paper bag. So I set out to fix that problem in order to get back into the game. I've used Cheer 5, Chain Gun, Railgun, Sprinters for years now and have yet to create a design that I can't outperform with another iteration. So if I link these up the way I'm thinking, I could pretty much just attach armor directly to here. Which, from here, I will paint green. So I can tell it apart. Shields. What kind of shield am I thinking? These are fun. How much else do they have? They're 52 CPU, under 19k. I know they can layer in fun ways. And this is the same shield I used in my previous design. Maybe I should shake it up then. And now that I think about it, this shield is great because shots from over here that break the shield will go over this way and actually get eaten by this chain gun instead of getting eaten by the railgun. Which, in a long range fight, I am most likely to be using the railgun. And I'm most likely to be taking railgun shots, so I think that's... that's the strat. And then what about here? Shots go to the railgun. So what if I made it so that when the railgun part gets hit by something big, <laughs> the, the chain gun takes the damage. Or, no. When the when the chain gun part gets hit, it transfers to the railgun. That would be funny. So, I mean, a plate from over here. You know, I could probably do this by, like, doing this and then, like, a uh, wrong tab. Can I fit one of these and then... Too long. They're over here, right? Oh wait, it does fit. Was it in the wrong one? Well, I guess I'll put it over there, and then... My chair is noisy. Okay. So now when something tries to railgun the railgun, <laughs> it'll get sent here. Or the chain gun. Like, watch. The chain gun is the first thing to take that. <laughs> so now, I need to figure out how to put a plate of armor here that sends its damage right over here. That would be hilarious, and also probably really good. I spent a lot more time than usual fiddling with different parts since I didn't remember how different parts fit together. In the past, this this type of build used to like have the perfect like trifecta of parts so that whenever one part got nerfed another part got indirectly or directly buffed so there's always something about it that's good <laughs> but recently i found that my um my design or not my design my previous iteration of this robot style kind of just crumpled up like a wet paper bag when i got shot 
So I'm needing to redesign it so that it doesn't fall apart when it gets hit. This is where I put my speedometer, if I had one. Instead I put an altimeter, because it's better than nothing, and it looks like a little control panel. With some final adjustments, I was ready to wrap up the design. Okay, I guess I'll have to call it there. Final... Final just test area test. I really wish that you could still like summon enemies in here. Okay, this movement's still acceptable. It's got still one hell of a leap. Doesn't want to leap downhill though. I think that's just a sprinter-like thing. Time to paint this thing. Let's do all black to start. Let's get our little cat friend up and running. I was picky with paint colors because I felt like it. You know what, I'm gonna put a little secret in here. Yes. That's gonna be there. And it's gonna stay. I'll never remove it. Oh, there we go. We got a match. Ooh, and it's not even the worst match I could have gotten. Though, the enemies have a lot of AIs, and I, my team doesn't. I'm pretty sure it's almost impossible to uh, reach a chain gun before getting bronze too. What are the enemies up to? I'm totally missed. Beautiful. This thing is a good leaper. As far as I know, there's nothing on the enemy team aside from the mortar that can sneak up on me very well. I don't have the range. Render distance is too low.
I want to kill this little Scooty. Well, there go your weapons, so you're toast. Oh. That person managed to hit me in such a way that removed my hover blades and nothing else. Interesting. Oh no, that's an ion. Kill the ion. There we go. They have their shield back. I'm gonna... <laughs> I'm just gonna leave for now. Leap, please. I could use to get out of here. Oh, that's, that's Aeroflack. Thank you, teammate, for helping me kill this person faster. I still don't have a railgun. Eventually it'll it'll regen, right? Uh oh. I want this point to cap real fast and we'll go to far point. I've already got a teammate there, but I wanna help them. I'm pretty sure that's a Tesla. Which aren't the best at capping points. Holy shit. I just went flying. Fall, 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 fall. Okay, got down. This person's got a very effective anti-ground robot design. Oh shit. I have no- I have no leap. I might die here. Never mind. I got him. I took out the main threat. There's still two enemies right there. And I'm low on everything. <laughs> everything is and I don't have a chain gun. I missed. I can get into a brawl with this thing, I can handle it. Cause they don't AIs don't really degun very much. My teammate tricked me. It's okay, I'm on the ground. Hello. You have the smallest little melee on there. Kill off the, the small. At least deal out a ton of damage to it. Ow. I'll leap away from it and then hit it with a railgun. Leap away again. I missed. That's a bad shot to miss. I'll have to back off on this person. I prevented them from capping the point, which is all I needed. And my teammates will get him. To far point then. Is this person one of the Aeroflack robots? Yeah, I'm gonna go this way. Actually, I've decided against engaging there. 
How did that happen? Help my teammate get that person dead slightly faster. Pretty sure the ion is there. I need to hit the radar on that thing. I think this thing is going to be my best. The chain gun's going to be better for low energy. Oh, there are a lot of enemies here. I want nothing to do with that. Let me go cap mid. This thing is so much better than the previous design because it, it leaps pretty consistently and it is a brick. Okay, that person's the one with the ions. I can tell based on the, the core damage. The rhythm. They want nothing to do with my railgun. Because last time I used it on the, the, them, they exploded. How did I miss that? I need to kill this turret real quick. Oh my god, they just barely didn't get that. Got him. Yeah, see, this version's so much better. It doesn't crumple up and die when it gets hit. Instead, it crumples up and lives. Oh, I didn't... I forgot to turn to make it around that corner. I'm gonna have another skirmish with this individual. This AI. Okay, I should shoot its chain gun off. And then take it out. And also kill the other AI. This is an AI. <laughs> I have no idea what happened there. That was unfortunate for them. They had two AIs. So they, they did well, actually. I did so much damage. What the hell? That is crazy. <laughs> okay, I fixed my sprinter. Uh, of the people on the scoreboard, the best played, and I'll just boop. Okay. I decided to do that even though last time I didn't. Woo. It's not garbage anymore. I fixed the problem. It has armor now. I level up like two whole times from one match. Much better. I fixed it. I don't know if I, I didn't actually get to see if the damage routing I did worked. All I know is that if this gets shot, the, the hover blades are at risk. But it's kind of functional, so I'm gonna call it there. Thanks for watching.